Welcome back to the Shakti Tutorials. Today's tutorial is going to be all about the shoulders and the neck area, where we hold a lot of tension. But before I show you the best exercises for that area, let's talk a little more about the meaning and the history behind your Shakti mat. So the concept of the Shakti mat is actually based on the concept of the bed of nails. And it was developed by a Vedic trained massage therapist. For hundreds of years, the yogis have used that knowledge to address their physical, mental and spiritual well-being. Did you know that the term Shakti is Sanskrit and actually means divine feminine creative force and is seen as the vehicle of change? So using your Shakti mat can actually empower you to take charge of your health, overcome obstacles and bring more creativity into your life. On your Shakti mat, you can also find the Sri Yantra, which is this one. The Sri Yantra stands for the connection between the cosmos and mankind. It reminds us that everything is connected, the body, the mind, and everything else in the world. In the same way that my presence has an effect on the people around me, my environment has also an effect on me and my personal well-being. In today's world, many of us work in office environments, and those environments too have an influence on our physical well-being. So many of us are working at desks all day long, hunched over, typing away, so we create a lot of tension there. And by using the Shakti mat regularly, you can relieve that tension. So you got two choices here. You can either roll up a towel or a blanket and place it underneath your Shakti mat, or you can simply use a Shakti pillow. The Shakti pillow is great for the neck and the shoulder area. It's also great if you're someone who travels a lot as it easily fits into your suitcase. And the Shakti pillow is also great for curved areas of the body and furthermore, you may even want to use it as you come down into your Shavasana pose after your yoga practice. To target the shoulder and the neck area, make sure you have the right distance between your hips and the Shakti pillow so that your neck will be right on top of the Shakti pillow and your shoulders on top of the mat. Then place your hands right next to your hips, maybe a little further behind. Bend your knees, place the soles of your feet onto the ground. Take a deep breath in. And then slowly roll onto your mat on an exhalation. Flip the palms upwards. Find a position that works here for you, that feels quite comfortable and focus back on your breath. You can either stretch the legs out in front of you or keep them bent. Another possibility here is to also simply let the knees pop outwards and place the soles of your feet together. Breathe deeply, relaxing the body down on every exhalation. And take a deep breath in. See if you can find a little more length here in your neck area. And on your exhalation, turn your head to one side. Gentle movement. Inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, turn your head to the other side. Inhale, coming back to center. And if you want to, you can roll the head back to one side, just go back and forth here for as long as you like, so take as many rounds as feel good to you. You can also simply keep the head in one line, look up towards the ceiling, focusing back on your breath, maybe closing your eyes and relaxing into the position. To get out of your position here, simply place your feet back onto the mat if you haven't done so yet, placing the palms back next to the hips and then roll off your mat as I've showed you before, maybe with a quick movement here, again try not to think about it too much. 
All right, I hope that went well for you. So here's a few tips for finding a little more peace and quiet during your Shakti mat session. So why not check out guided meditations online? You can also find yoga nidra sessions, for example, or just find some soothing music that's helping you to relax. Personally, I found that these are great tools that have helped me immensely to become more aware of my body, to relax my mind, and also assist with deeper sleep, which is something that I've been struggling with a lot in the past. Deep breathing and breath awareness in general are also great practices that can help you relax further. If you tend to fall asleep during moments of relaxation, just be sure to set a timer because otherwise five minutes can easily turn into five hours. Below this video, you find a link to my favorite meditations. It may be worthwhile to check them out. In the next video, I'll show you the best exercises for your forearms and your hands, which are often neglected areas in our modern life. So be sure to check that out and I'll see you next time.